these students who calculated Superman's solar efficiency. And they use this equation that uh, they, they, cal they calculate the efficiency of solar panels. And so the most efficient solar panel in the world has an efficiency rate of 44.7%. So for Superman, they figured something out. If he's going to fly around for eight hours, he is going to spend six, well, no, 207 billion joules. So this is Crash Course in Science on top of this. Yeah. His energy output, he'd have to be 6,000 times more efficient. Than the most powerful mm -hmm. panel we have on Earth. That would be correct. I, could, I have no problem believing that. Now, my question for you is... So wait, is super Superman has to like recharge? Well, he so he has to deal with Superman. Like when they killed him, yeah, that was kind of a joke. That all you had to do was kind of put him in the sunlight, and he'd kind of be okay. <laughs> Superman is just a plant. He's basically a he's giant just a plant. seedling, ba based on <laughs> who just needs a little bit of he's 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 got photosynthesis. Well, kinda. Actually, think about it. He's actually using the sun much more efficiently than we are. Although they're saying this would be impossible. The students had a great thing. They're like, because this, because the solar efficiency is so ridiculous. Yeah. They're like, there must be other ways he's being powered. But Superman's a, ugh, I hate him. All right, what? <laughs> but he's apparently green, well, so. Well, let's... no, he's not green. <laughs> he's, he's apparently is super environmentally conscious. Oh, that. <laughs> I'm like, no, they made him blue once. He never was oh, green. Right, right, he was right. electric Superman blue. <laughs> it was, uh, I mean, like you know, environmentally like, green, eco-friendly. Yeah, Superman. he's he gets a green badge.